guys hear me? Hi. Hi, Mary. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I get this. I'm good. I'm apologies. I'm I'm gonna go to a concert right after the song and the start of this. Um, so I'll, oh, I'll be here okay. for a short time. Okay. Yeah, Levant de Nord is playing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not familiar with that. I'm, I'm a group. Oh yeah. Levant de Nord. No. Yeah. No. Are they Quebecois? Where are they? They are Quebecois. Yeah. Um. And, you know, Quebecois is such a strong tie to Celtic with the Scottish influence and um, the Acadian. And, uh, yeah, they're just amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Who are you going to listen to, Mary? Le Levant de Nord? I don't um, know that group. Yeah. Um, they're, uh, what can I say? They're, they're just, they're fabulous. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's lots of great Quebecois groups. I was just participating last weekend in Fiddle Howe. And um, the group Gentecorum was participating, and they did a concert, but they were all three in different places. <laughs> yeah. So, they, so they had to each take their own to each take a turn at playing something, but they're great. I mean, wow. Oh, Pascal Jean, all of them are amazing. They've Such they fun. have been teaching at the um, Quebec Music Camp I've gone to um, at the end of August, and they taught at the. Um, at the uh, tra Acadian Trad School in uh, Bar Harbor, which is no more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's lots of great, great, there's lots of great musicians. Yeah. Lucky us. <laughs> we are lucky. Well, and it looks like our nice warm days are pretty much done. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that was nice. I mean, uh, a year ago today, I, I reposted a picture on Facebook. There, It was like totally snow <laughs> covered outside a year ago today. You know, I was thinking wow. about that because I thought it got cold early and just stayed cold, you know, and this is crazy. I mean, it, I'm not complaining, but it's really unusual. See if I can find this picture. Where is it? Here's what. Can you see that? That's oh, what yeah. it looked like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what wow. it looked like outside my bedroom window last year on this day. Wow. <laughs> so, thank your lucky stars. Yeah, I'm still trying to get house paint paint on the um, clabbered underneath where I replaced a couple of windows. So I have one more coat to get on. Oh. So I, I wait for it to warm up to upper 40s and then go out with my little brush. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. I wonder what Mark's playing. <laughs> Looks like he's having fun. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. It was great. I loved it. Ooh. Like, uh... oh, never mind. I was going to make a political comment, but I won't. Oh, goodness. So, Donna, you were uh, busy this week with. Uh... Yeah. Hell or whatever it was. Oh my gosh, that was that was, that was something. <laughs> okay. Ten, there were like nine nine session workshop or concert slots a day with six or seven or eight choices for each slot. Lord. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Over the good the good thing is that they did it using this app called Whova, and um, they so now having taken part in it now i have access to everything for three months still oh, so i can yeah. yeah so i can go to things i didn't go to and i can go back to things i did go to to get more details and wow so cool. how much did you have to pay for all that it was like only 150 bucks wow that's a good deal i mean if i had gone if i had flown to boston for and stayed there for four days 
you know, it would, it would have been a thousand bucks probably, you know, the whole thing. Yeah. So same thing with the, the bar on workshops I've taken part in. There was a five day one and a three day one. I mean, just going to one would be $5,000. <laughs> you know, So that, that was a hundred, 150 and then 130. So good deal. I mean, you lose, you lose, you lose some, of course, yeah. you don't, you know, you don't get everything you get in person, but it's pretty, pretty darn good. Yeah. yeah. Sounds well, like it. Kim is taking a, a workshop with, um, refresh my memory, Kim. All of a sudden I can't bring her name to mind. Marla Fibish? Yes. With Marla, it's seven consecutive Saturdays. It was supposed to be live in California and, um, early April, but um, something happened. Oh, ah. so how, mm -hmm. how many weeks are you into it? I think we've done four, uh -huh. maybe five. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's great. Well, and I'm glad, I'm glad that some of these musicians can make some money doing some, this stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm, no, I'm sure it doesn't cover what they were, cover Not everything for them at all. Travel somewhere either. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But not the same. That's okay, Ashley. Just keep eating. <laughs> Sorry. <I'm kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> or those hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> no, it's, it's dinner, but. What is it? What are they called? There's some sort of dumpling. Bicek. It's like a pumpkin and, and lamb dumpling thing. Ooh, you guys are dumpling experts. I want to come. I want to come to your house to eat. You have the um, this book, World of Dumplings. Oh man, I gotta get that. <laughs> Lots of dumplings. Wow. Oh, they are the ultimate comfort food. You know. Mm-hmm. I love them. I, mean, I think you need to feature a different dumpling every week. <laughs> sure. I mean, in, po in <laughs> Polish. Give us a review how hard it was to make it. Maybe flash a recipe. In, in Polish cuisine, there are at least three or four different types of them. You know, a little tiny ushki shape of an ear, pierogi, mm -hmm. of course, pizzi, which are thicker, and others, you know, they're just, just great. Mm. Was pierogi considered a dumpling? Oh, yeah. I had one when I was in Poland that, that they were very small and then they were in like a cheese thing, like blue mm -hmm. cheese thing. I don't know what they were called though. They oh, were... I'm not sure exactly what that would be. But ushki, the little ones are, they're usually filled with mushrooms. They're usually put in soup. They are just good. Oh. We're making everybody hungry. <laughs> I just ate. <laughs> the <laughs> Mongolians have them. Do they give you, I can never make them when I'm over there because I, I, you can always, it looks like a six-year-old has done it. Do they give you tips on how to connect the dough in a fancy way, you know, around the edges? A little bit, yeah. Like yeah, each, thing. each one has its own kind of fold. I mean, there's only so many types, but. I screw them all up. I, I haven't conquered one of them, so. <laughs> Some of them are really easy. Like this is just, you pretty much fold it in half and that's it. But some of them are very complicated. So yeah. I, yeah. I think the Chinese had them first. I mean, cause the Chinese civilization goes back or they came from Asia and, and, and came, you know, with the Mongols or something into Europe. I think that's probably how they, how they came to us, you know. That sounds plausible. <laughs> That's what the noodles did, so I can't see why dumplings wouldn't have done it as well. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> Food, what I else? Dumplings. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to teach another uh, jig tonight one that I like to play after down the back lane that I taught last week. So I don't know if we're, Eric, you think I should start or should I wait a little bit more? Well, Ashley, you said that uh, Colleen posted yeah. at 730. 
Yeah, she posted on the Facebook page that it was 7.30. Oh. I don't know. We just might be <coughs> people. A few people oh, short know. today. Yeah, I, I think we should get started, Fran. Okay. That'll be good. All right. So, Eric, did you post last week's? I didn't check to see if you posted our session last week or you recorded it or anything. I recorded it, and I... Um, I did transfer it over to YouTube. Um, I have not been able to get the Facebook live to work, huh. um, which is normally the way that I've been doing it. Right. Hmm. Um, but I've got it on YouTube, so I can post the YouTube recording. Yeah. Huh. That would be that would be a, a good way to access it. All right. Well. Uh... Name of the tune. So uh, this jig is a, a three-part jig with the uh, AABBCC structure. Oh, I call it Petticoat Lewis. There are other names for it, but that's the name on the album where I got it from. Petticoat what? Loose. Loose? Loose. L-O-O-S-E. Petticoat Loose. There's a couple different, I think there's a, a fairly well-known reel called Petticoat Loose and then another jig called Petticoat Loose. But this, this is the title I have for this. And I'll, when I post it, I'll uh, give you other names. My, the, another name might be Strap the Razor. Not sure. So. So. times through. My fiddle was sounding weird to me, but maybe because I haven't played it for a few days. Uh, so, the A part. First measure. And the second measure is very similar. So the first two together. Everybody 
okay with that. Pretty simple. And then, uh, oh, wait a second. Would be the third measure. And then the fourth measure would be. So the third and fourth would be. Wait a second. So let's uh, probably do that a little bit too fast. has a problem, speak up or raise your hand or something. measures are just like the first two, I think. Yeah, they are. So um, the first six measures then would be that'd be the seventh measure would be or I guess that's would be the seventh measure so it just starts on on D and, and go, goes right up and then the eighth measure is together would be seventh measure instead of going I go I on the fiddle like and it would work on banjo too 
do a little triplet there. times the the whole a part going the wrong way to catch that triplet there or at least uh, right now it is I uh, I'll see if I can work it in one more time <laughs> measure the B part. And the second measure is uh, B. So it's very similar, the second measure of the B part. two together would be that last note is an F sharp in case you didn't figure it out and the third measure I think it's just like uh, the third measure in the other part. So we've got measures of the B part then would be sex are just the same as the first and second. So playing all the first six measures would be Couple 
measures are, are the same as the other one, as is in the A part. <laughs> together or should I just go on to the C part and then we'll put them all together? Any thoughts? A and B sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Refresh. Yeah. with the computer. All right, uh, on to the last part. Hold on a second.
can put a roll there. Uh, I like to. I don't always. So. Those are the first three measures. The fourth one is all together, it would be. out the roll it might be a little easier to hear Oops. Is everybody okay with that so far? Any problems, questions? Pretty straightforward. Can you just do it in that, that first part of it? Um, I mean, it's straightforward, but I'm screwing up one note. Um, yeah. Okay. I'll do it uh, very slowly. First measure. Second. similar. The first, hold on, I've got a cat trying to sneak in. No, 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 no. Um, first four measures then would be then the next couple measures the seventh measure kind of a fake out it goes to an F natural and the last measure we go back to a up sharp. okay with that Mary okay so the last couple measures
and then the whole uh, C part. Make sense to everybody? Okay, I don't see anybody saying no. So let's try the whole tune. We'll go through it and I'll go through it once and pause and see if you guys are like asking questions and then if, if not we'll go through it a couple more times. <laughs> times. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
questions? It's pretty straightforward. And I like to put it after down the back lane that we played last week. Could we do both of those in a row? We could. Let me see if I can. That would be helpful. I better not. Better not attempt it on that right this minute. I know we just learned the tune last week. Okay, Eric's nodding yes.
Any questions? Very nice. Thank you so much. Sorry to leave, but thank you very much. It's a great okay. tune. Gonna go paint. <laughs> All right. Good enough. I like the three part. Yeah, it's uh, it just kind of rolls along. And it's drop the razor or other names. Petticoat loose is the one I know it by, but I think some other people might call it Strap the Razor. Of course, there's another tune called Strap the Razor. There always is. Uh, Marla just taught this is Strap the Razor. Pardon me? Marla just taught this is Strap the Razor. Oh, okay. I knew it is Petticoat Loose. Both good names. So you got to double up on tunes. She's taught both of those before in different workshops. <laughs> uh, see, you're getting to the point where you know so many tunes that you uh, don't always get a new one. Her last phrase is different in both tunes. Oh. OK. Well, we can uh, we can start the slow session. So everybody's ready. We all ready? Okay. Uh, let's see. James, you're up first. If you got one for us. Um, I'm gonna play more sins like last week, and then I. So I'm new, right? I'm still new. I think Cooley's is a real, right? It's in four. Is that right? Usually you probably wouldn't put a reel with it after a jig, right? Is that, or is there rules? I don't know. It's, Sometimes uh, people mix it up on recordings, but in sessions they stick with one tune. Gotcha. Okay. So Sometimes, I'll just play, I'll play coolies later if there's a chance. Sometimes you can mix like jigs and slip jigs, but the meter's all the same. Gotcha. Thank you. So we'll do, uh, let's do Morrison's. Some nice cuts and uh, ornaments in there. Sounded good. Yeah. 
Good job. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Joe, Joe, you're up next. Um, how about if I play, um, can I play a set? Certainly. All right. Certainly. I was, uh, how about, uh, toss the feathers, toss the feathers and toss the feathers. Okay. <laughs> So the first one is uh, the D minor Claire Tulla Kelly band version. The second one is the E Dorian real common one. And then the third one is the uh, still pretty common one that's like D Mixolydian, whatever. Um, I'll just play them two times through. So it's... <laughs> Allison, the setting you got from Allison? Yes. Yep. Nice. Very good. Yeah. That was good, Joe. Thank you. I gotta go. So oh. good night. See you next week. All right, John. Yep. We'll see you later. Short and sweet. Good night. Okay. Uh, Donna, you're up next. Oh, I'm sorry. No, uh, Ashley. Ashley, you're next. Okay. Um, I've been playing this real uh, called the Ash Plant. Oh. Yeah. That one. I'm. I think I'm familiar with I that. I kind of yeah. like it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've heard anyone play it, but. Um, anyway. <laughs> Thank you. 
forgot to repeat the first time. <laughs> well, I'm not used to hearing it with repeats. I don't. Think, oh, really? Or at least that's not how I've been playing it. You know, I've heard it both ways. Where, I, the Tulla Kaylee band one does it with repeats. Okay. Probably because Kaylee. Um, I'm the single say like that. So. Recording of. Would uh, you do it that way, really? I'm gonna send you a recording of uh, Kevin Henry uh, playing it. It's a real hoot, and I think Martin Hayes Thank might you. be playing it with him. I can't remember, but it's a it's a cool recording. So I'll, you can listen to it and see what you think. Thank you. Think of it as yeah. like a, a Dorian version of Morning Dew. It's kind of got a little bit of that going on in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just enough to drive me crazy because I don't, <laughs> I know Morning Dew and I feel like I, I almost know this, but I really don't. That's how they get you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a great tune. Uh, okay, uh, Donna, did you say uh, you're not? Oh, yeah, I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass when I'm going to sign off. Okay. So thank, thank you. See you all next week. Yep. You're Bye welcome. Now. See you later. Okay, Bye. Bye. And then okay. there was something. And then there's Fran. You're next. Really? Yeah. Um... So I was just playing this earlier today, and it's in, in a different key from what uh, Junior Crean uh, played it or wrote it or whatever, but uh, it's her long hair was falling down her back or something. It's about his mother. <laughs> I didn't screw up those uh, sharps uh, and then when I was screwing them up it really messed the tune up but there you go did you say that's a junior crayon tune yeah it's one of my favorites yeah it might be played in that key on the um, Mick O'Brien May Morning Dew I'm not sure coming after the uh when Kevin Crean plays it after West Clare Railway or something like that. 
Somebody, I think it's usually played in D. Yes. But sometimes I've heard somebody play it in C. I don't know if it was Mick O'Brien or somebody. Huh. Don't know. Didn't research it. Okay. Thank you, Fran. Uh, Mark, you're up next. All right. Uh, has anybody else been experiencing a lot of like slowdowns and speeds up? I've been getting some of that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's yes. not just, not just me then. No. Nope. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. Um, maybe rolling wave. We're still in the slow session, right, Eric? Uh, no, we're five minutes beyond that. You can play as fast as you want, or as ah. slow as you want. Yeah, so the slow session would be about right. Okay. <laughs> Good Mark. Uh, throw, throw all right, Eric. Yeah, yeah. You got a little. Uh, uh, there's a little crackling on your line, but I could hear you. I could hear you just fine. Yeah, it's weird. It sounds muffled. Did I? Use, I had the mute on earlier, and that sometimes screws up with my sound of my instrument. I can't tell if it's the headphones or what, but whatever. Yeah. Okay. It's it's pandemic <laughs> intonation. It must be. Yeah. Okay, I'm up. Let's see. Um, I was either going to play some polkas or I was going to play that Bloom of Youth set. Um, any preferences out there? Polkas, Bloom of Youth? Bloom of Youth. Bloom of Youth, okay. Yeah, Bloom of Youth. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
Eric. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Tim. Uh, and you're up next, Tim. It's your turn. Okie dokie. How about uh, Wayland's Old Sal and uh, Bold Doherty?
Is that a different version? But he said Waylon's old Sal. That's why I was wondering if there's no, a it's like is that yeah. a sister sister tune to the Waylon Sal? Because they're they're similar, but they're not the same. I learned it. I learned it a few years ago from Marla Fibbish. Uh, I suspect it. I've heard you guys play it once or twice, and it's slightly different. I thought they were compatible, but maybe not. Well, I think they are. I just it. I was just a little lost at first, just because I heard different notes. Well, uh, the A part and the B part are different. I mean, there's some overlap, but I think they're far enough apart that they're not really. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't know. know. We'll hash Frank, it Frank, Frank, can you play it maybe through once? I can't remember how it starts. Yeah. How's it go again? <laughs> um, how's it start? Um, That's my problem. <laughs> pretty close yeah but when you were playing the a i thought you were playing the other rolling wave at first mm. yeah, there's a bunch of tunes that are kind of in that same area yeah but i i thought that i thought what tim was playing i mean that 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 run that phrase that goes da -da 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 -da. Yes. you know that's definitely so you know that's the tune that is the tune. In my head, and I and I definitely heard that coming through with Me too. Yeah. Good good set though. Yeah, that was great, Tim. I was trying to remember if I learned Bold Doherty from Marla or or maybe it was from Shannon this Heaton. Shannon Heaton was in Shannon town. Heaton, you were doing the was. sound. You weren't really learning the tune. That's right. Yeah. I learned it after you. You guys learned it from Shannon, and then I. I just jumped on it, then. Cribbed it, huh? Cribbed it. <laughs> okay, Kenji, you're up next. Oh, wait! I didn't add Jim to the list. You want to have a go, Jim? Sorry, Kenji. Kenji made me yawn. Okay, uh, Flowers of Edinburgh. Okay. <laughs>
Very nice, Jim. Thanks. Thank you. Good. Kenji, you're up next. What are you doing? What's that? How are you? I'm good. How are you, Kenji? Let's see. Was the first tune, Kenji? 
Let's do Liffy Banks. Liffy uh, Banks, yeah. Liffy Banks. Yeah. I was I was wondering the name. Yeah, that was a and good the, set. And the second tune was the New Moon Meadows played up where yeah. flute play it usually. Thanks, Fran. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, James. Back up to you. All right, I'm gonna do coolies. Okay. Joe, you're up next. Okay. I'm going to play uh, the Congress reel. Um, Thank you. 
Very I'm nice. Play on that instrument. Yeah, that sounds great. The capo is your friend. <laughs> so what, what's the what's the name of the tune? The Congress Reel. Oh, that's right. Thank you. Sounded a little bit like raggle taggle gypsy o in there. Yeah, absolutely. And in fact, I might I might accidentally kind of slipping that that line into the end of that. <laughs> That's the there's that chieftain's version where they put it in between okay. raggle taggle gypsy and then the congress go back that and forth. That might be what's in my mind. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I was thinking of Planksty, but yeah, yeah, very similar. Cool. Uh, Ashley, you're up next. Um, I feel like I played this before, and some of you do it. I learned it, though Brian Conway taught it last summer, <clears throat> this O'Mahony's Frolics. Okay. Some of us knew it, but I'll see. a long time ago i was listening to one of the online sessions that brian had and he was playing it and i thought well that's a nice tune so yeah it's nice it's in my head yeah he calls it <laughs> i think he calls it omahony's frolics on his album omahony omahony like omahony but omahony is yeah Uh, Fran, or yeah, Fran, you're up next. I was thinking I should play that uh, Kid Omahane's jig that, that uh, Mark likes so much, but only probably uh, Joe and Mark know it. Oh, you know it too, Tim? Yeah, but I'll try to play. Let me look at a list here and see if I can play something that more people know. Well, more people aren't going to know this, but this has been going through my head. Uh, Father, Kerry, Ke Father Kelly's Farewell by Sean Ryan, the jig, and then with uh, the Hardy Boys of Ballymote. It's Judy like used to like to put those together. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Just now. You said Father Kelly's something. Uh, farewell. Father Kelly's farewell and Hardy Boys of Ballymote. Ballymote, yeah. Thanks for playing those, Fran. I think it's probably been, what, 10 years since we've played those? Yeah, that was me. And Kelly's farewell kept coming into my head, but, you know, I, I don't think very many people play it. I mean, I looked and I only found like three or four recordings listed on the session. Didn't we learn that from Brian Conway? Uh, With dancing eyes or something like that, I thought we learned Father Kelly's maybe or maybe Father not. Father Kelly's farewell came from Patrick or so. Came to, okay. She caught it, but she got it from Patrick. Yeah, I. Yeah, I mean, and I've been playing the Hardy Boys of Ballymote a lot lately, actually. Uh -huh. um, I'm just, uh, I'm going to have to jump off. I just was doing some uh, some work stuff. <laughs> oh, bummer. Yeah, but I know. Sell them drugs, Joe. That's right. Got to keep those drugs moving, you know. <laughs> All it's right. Good well, for... Nice to see you. Yeah, good to yeah, see good you guys. Hi, Joe. Mm -hmm. All right. See you later. Yeah, I'm signing off too. Okay, okay. Kenji. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining. Thanks for signing by, Kenji. Bye. Yep, see you later. That okay. Father Kelly's Farewell, I always used to like to play when I was trying out different fiddles because it has that nice range. It goes all the way down and then all the way up. Yeah. That Hardy, Hardy Boys, I, I'm familiar with that. Yeah, the Hardy Boys in. of Valley Mode, I don't know where Judy got that from. It might be off of an old recording, like from Galway to Dublin or whatever that's called, from yeah. some of the old guys playing. Yeah. Okay, Mark, you're up next. Oh, let's see here. Um, maybe a uh, cup of tea and then uh, what's the other one? The Mountain Dew? Morning Dew. <laughs> uh, I just played two, three, two times through, I think, on each of those. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sat there. Was it fast enough for you? It was. Yeah. It was perfect speed. Uh, let's see. Jim, you're up next. <clears throat> uh, humors of Kilclogger and Mrs. O'Sullivan's. Okay. Uh, no idea. Oh, cool. I think uh, 
Jackie Daly did that on the eavesdropper really? recording. Yeah, it's on there, I think. I have to check it out. Yeah, it's a nice, nice box set. Uh, we. Um, I'm gonna do those polkas now. I'm, um, I'm gonna teach these in a week or two or a couple weeks. So maybe, maybe I'll might already know these, but let's see. Oh, the names. Um, the first one is uh, "Happy Days Are Here Again," and the second one, yeah. <laughs> Mark got the joke. <laughs> and the second one is, uh, yeah, after last week. Actually, it's going to be happy days and 70 days. Or in 70 days. Right. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, tomorrow is Friday the 13th, so. Oh. Uh oh. It could all, yeah. Could all go to. You know, that, you know why Friday the 13th is unlucky. <clears throat> That's because a bunch of insurgents got murdered in France on a Friday the 13th. Really? Yes. So, you know, way back in what? The... 2020? 1700s? Oh, I think the 1400s. 1400s. <laughs> Long time ago. It's good because uh, it's about time Friday to revive that, right? 2020 is giving me anxiety, so. Yes, yes. <laughs> Lots of anxiety. Okay. Oh, okay. That set I played is from John Williams on the Steam album. Oh, good. Thanks. He, he might have took Miss Sullivan's up a step, but too high for me. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. That was a great set. And uh, the second tune is it goes by Padre Joe Keefe's, but I don't know the real the name for that. So. I don't know if you have any ideas, Fran, but um, give it a go.
something like that. So, yeah, hopefully in a couple of weeks I'll, I'll be able to teach that. Good stuff. Uh, Tim, your turn. Uh, okay. Um, West, the West Clare Railway, another junior Korean tune. Uh, and then, um, um, what's the name? Uh, the Torn Jacket. missing some little phrase that ending the A section. I just couldn't get it in my head. <laughs> but it's kind of like that. Oh, the last one? Um, yeah. Torn jacket? Torn jacket. Yeah. That's a nice set. I like those tunes. Yeah. A change from the from the West Clare Railway into the Torn Jacket. That was a nice... I like that. Yeah, yeah. Eric, I think I'm going to exit stage left. Okay, really? I'm... What about stage right? <laughs> uh, Looks like the exit's behind you. Oh, oh yeah, all right. Exit. right. I'm going to exit behind me. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out where I am. 
for you. That's off the front of the stage, actually. There's a there's a pit there. Is there? Oh, okay. Yeah. So, at any rate. All right. Uh, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Thanks. Thank you, Mark. Yep. See Bye. you later. I'm actually pretty exhausted myself, but. Well, um, I mean, I don't have many more tunes in me. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling pretty wiped out myself. I don't know. Well, yeah. you're running it. You can, you can boot us. What does uh, what does everybody else think, Tim? Jen? Ashley's ready for bed, and she's a Ashley? night owl. You probably yeah, just got up like four or five hours ago, huh? What? Oh, nothing. It's a work day. Sorry. <laughs> it is a work day. Yes. No. No, I'm not on COVID schedule anymore. Oh, bummer. I have that was to work night. now. Yeah, I'm surprised. Yeah. You have time to come and visit us. I'm really glad. Yeah. Plus, now you're the head of it. How are all the kids doing? Okay. They're good. I, they're very resilient. And like, this week we decided to for the Celine Fiddlers to be all remote until January, so. That's smart. Things are slowing down and again, so. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's wise. Yep. Well, um, Eric, I think I'm going to take this opportunity to exit. Okay. Sounds good. And uh, I'll wish you all a good night, an early good night. Yes. Okay. Night, Jim. Night, Tim. Eric. That sounds good. Okay. Guys. Thank you, Fran. Good night. I'll head out too then. How are you? This is right, Jim. Down here by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Tim's raring to go. <laughs> the retired life. Oh, yeah. If only I could do that. I'll, 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 I'll stick around for one, one more round if you want. One more. Yeah. Right. What you okay. got? I have a suggestion. Okay. Um, because I finally got around to learning. The second tune of the four tune set starting with Milky Way. Oh, yeah. Ring Around the Moon or whatever. I think can, it's... We, can we keep our mics on? What will happen if there's only three of us? I don't know. You know? We can try. It depends on how your internet is working. Sometimes it works fine. Mine is terrible today, so I'll keep mine off.
I could only hear Eric, but... Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Interesting. I couldn't hear you at all. I could hear you. You could hear me here? That's a little bit, yeah. It might, maybe it's just a difference in the volume of the instruments or something. Maybe, yeah. Could yeah. be. Interesting. Yeah. Hey, it was fun to hear somebody else play along. <laughs> yeah, and maybe just with fewer people, it doesn't suck up so much bandwidth or something. There are a couple of apps that are supposed to get rid of latency that I've been kind of curious about trying. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you guys would be up for a test run of something at some that, point. That would be so great, yeah. When I signed into this, I noticed there's a 5.0 Zoom update, but I didn't want to leave to do it. Yeah. I don't know if that'll help at all. It's probably all right. a lot of security updates. I think I'm about to pass out. So. Yeah, it's time. <laughs> me too. That was, that was not fun for you, Ashley. But that was fun for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fun. I like that too. What set? What set is that from? The Four Tunes. Uh, it's um. Dara O'Reilly, if that's how you say his name. McDara, yeah. Dara O'Reilly. Um, the whole album is just him in a pub, playing. And it's on YouTube. That's the take that's on the recording. It's just brilliant, easy. I mean, just it's virtuosic, but in the best, in, in just a groove kind of way. It's just like he's a great fiddler, just like doing it right there in front of a small group of people on YouTube. And that's the record. It's killer. And awesome. it's, that's called the set Broderick's, but it's, I don't know if they're all written by Vincent Broderick, but the first one yeah. is, anyway, the Milky first Way. One. Did you learn the Milky Way that Eric taught a year or two ago, Eric, Ashley? No, I learned I learned that one after after he played it, I went and learned it. And learned it, yeah. He played it at a session once, and then I learned it. And then I just learned that second one, which is Ring Around the Moon, but there's two others in that set. I don't think I've learned them yet. Yeah. I'll have to get to the rest of them. Yeah, that's a great album. I, one time I drove to my dad's house and 
Texas, and I listened to that album the whole way <laughs> driving down really? there <laughs> like, for 20 hours straight. Wow. Could be worse. <laughs> so it got ingrained. You must have been by yourself. I was by myself. Yeah. <laughs> we just drove to North Carolina and back at, at, at like a couple hours in. He's like, can we not listen to this anymore? <laughs> 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 we got to try something else. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, okay. great seeing you guys. Yeah. We'll, we'll get together again next week. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Good night. Good night, Good night y'all.